How are insomnia, kidney function, and flatulence related? It would seem that it has nothing to do with it. But the human body is a complex system in which thousands of processes are interwoven. This interrelation requires a complex solution to the problem, and modern pharmacology only removes individual symptoms. No wonder people overlook dangerous kidney, intestinal and mental diseases that are masked by these symptoms. Today we will talk about the relationship of such completely different ailments, as well as give some folk recipes, how with the help of a single healing plant to solve the whole complex of problems. How does the intestine affect sleep? It would seem that it can in no way affect either sleep or other aspects of the brain. On the contrary, it is the brain that controls the rest of the body, sending signals to individual organs. This has long been believed by scientists around the world. The intestines were given the function of the final processing and elimination of food from the body. In recent years, however, science has recognized its misconception. Numerous studies of intestinal microflora have shown that beneficial bacteria are not only needed to digest food and absorb nutrients through the gut, but that they can also take full control of the body. That doesn't write off the role of the brain. But it perhaps has an unexpected competitor, and the workings of the body are not as simple as previously thought. So how do they interact? The brain does send signals to produce various hormones and enzymes, without which it is impossible to digest and further process food. However, the gut microbiota can also participate in this feedback. If the conditions in the intestine are unfavorable for it, it not only reacts by disrupting the process of digestion due to the death of beneficial bacteria. In addition, the microbiota sends signals to the brain that can affect a person's mood, mental stability, sleep and performance. This effect is not limited to mood swings. If the microbiota begins to die and there are problems with digestion and thus with stools, the consequences for mental health can also be extensive if such functional disorders develop over a long period of time. First, mood swings begin, which lead to a decrease in performance and the development of chronic fatigue syndrome. This affects the quality of sleep, which further reduces the stamina and performance of the person, a vicious circle. The worst manifestation of this complex of problems is the development of a depressive disorder. Earlier nobody connected this chain of causes and consequences with the work of the intestinal microflora. The cause was looked for only in the human psyche. But modern findings of scientists from various fields of knowledge have shown that sometimes all these processes are triggered by digestive problems and mental processes are only their consequence. An important nuance of all this is that the first symptom of intestinal disorders is often flatulence. Given that bloating is a common and non-dangerous symptom, it is rarely seen as a harbinger of serious problems. What does this have to do with the kidneys? Does the work of the kidneys also affect the intestinal microflora? In part yes, because it is thanks to her the human body receives useful trace elements without which the normal functioning of any internal organs is impossible. The kidneys are no exception here. However, even more important for their health normal functioning of the nervous system. Stresses, especially prolonged, which weaken the nervous system, strike and on the kidneys. The fact that unstable sleep and constant mental stress leads to pressure spikes, which negatively affects the state of the vessels of the kidneys. Over time, this leads to a deterioration of blood supply to this organ and reduces its filtration capacity. And if you take into account that an addition from the intestines will not get enough building material in the form of vitamins and minerals, then kidney problems can become chronic. A general weakening of the kidneys makes them susceptible to infections that spread throughout the urinary system. How to solve the problem? Normalizing the intestines, preventing kidney and urinary tract infections, as well as stimulating the outflow of bile and strengthening the nervous system all these tasks can be solved by the plant known as Angelica. This plant with long stems and lush inflorescences can be found in meadows and vegetable gardens. It is specially sown for later use in salads, marinades and even to make jam. But more interesting and important is the medical properties of Angelica. Its roots contain many different essential oils and acids, 
as well as phytosterones, vitamins A and C, phosphorus, calcium and other minerals. How does Angelica affect the body? First, it calms fermentation in the intestines, thereby suppressing flatulence, nausea and other negative manifestations of indigestion. Secondly, the composition of Angelica is effective in treating the bronchi and respiratory tract. In addition, Angelica is a good diaphoretic, which is useful for colds with fever. Thirdly, this plant stimulates the pancreas and also has a diuretic effect, which makes it good for cleansing the kidneys and protects them from the formation of stagnant foci of infection. The fourth property of this plant Angelica acts as a mild sedative, which can normalize sleep and does not have the disadvantages of sleeping pills in the form of drowsiness during the day. How to use Angelica? To normalize the nervous system, improve sleep, prevent and treat neuralgia, as well as chronic fatigue syndrome and nervous exhaustion use Angelica tea. For its preparation take a tablespoon of dried roots of the plant and pour 200 milliliters of boiling water. Cover with a lid and let infuse for 3 hours. Then strain the tea through gauze and take twice a day half a glass before meals. To improve the intestines, pancreas, respiratory system and urinary tract better suited decoction of Angelica. For its preparation you will need 3 tablespoons of roots of this plant, as well as 200 milliliters of water. Boil water and pour it over the roots. Cover with a lid and boil on a water bath over low heat for half an hour. Then let the broth cool at room temperature for 10 minutes and strain. Add boiled water to bring the volume up to 200 milliliters. Drink such a decoction should be hot half a glass three times a day. Store no more than two days in the refrigerator. And how do you cope with insomnia and digestive problems? Do you use Angelica? Share in the comments.